Today we're going to talk about a GB124 Smart Attachment Grader Blade. It is attached to a next generation compact track loader 265. Similar to the D3 series prior to this that it integrates to, as well as to the next generation, there's been a few changes within the screens and in the operation portion of it. We are going to go over that today. Okay, I'm going to step up into the cab and I'm going to show you how to operate this attachment. I've got into the machine, getting ready to get it started up. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the knob. I will be waiting on the monitor for the security code to come up. Once the security code gets here, I will put it in and I will start the machine up. And then we'll walk through the features of the machine monitor attached with the smart attachment. All right, I've hit OK. Allow me to go ahead and start the machine. As soon as the monitor comes up, I'm in configuration mode. To activate the smart attachment, over here on my left-hand joystick is a shovel. Once I press that, it's going to ask over here, do I want to enable? I say OK. When I do that, the next function it's going to ask is to go to the right-hand joystick trigger and squeeze it one time. You'll notice now that the green box is highlighted. And over here on the right side, the shovel is green. That is showing me that the attachment is in attachment mode and assist is going to be on. Now, to go further with that, I want to go into the, to the display, go back into attachments. And with that, it's going to bring up, number one is going to be my joystick mapping. You have the option to go tandem, left, or right with the cylinders. Tandem being that both cylinders will individually operate when you are in raise mode. So as the tool raises up, both cylinders are at, at working together. In right or left, if I select left, doing that I'm going to be using my right joystick left and right and the right cylinder will hold its position unless I want to use it with the fore and aft of the joystick. Again, as we go back in to the monitor, I can also select right. Well, how this actually operates is, once it's selected one cylinder or the other with the left or the right, I will have control of currently the right joystick or the right cylinder, I will have control of that. The left cylinder, when the assist mode is on, it will be maintaining the assist function that I've asked for. So if I'm wanting to run a crown of 4% or 5% or 3%, I can be getting all my material with the right joystick and then the left, the left cylinder will be actually maintaining that grade. I am going to take it back into dual mode or tandem mode, which is where we'll operate. Slope control is showing me that the assist is on, so I'll be able to set, set that assist if I go into blade slope offset, that is going to allow me on setup, I can take a spirit level to find true level on the blade, then offset numbers left or right to calibrate zero. After calibration, now when in assist mode grading a percent of slope, I can now press number four button on the right hand joystick to return blade to level. Moving past that, We'll go into attachment mode. That is showing me that I am in attachment mode and it is active with that green. If I was to hit the shovel again on the left hand joystick, it will shut the attachment mode off. I hit it again, I bring it back on and then it's also going to let me get ready to start grading. So with that said, when you look at, when you look at the, the blade itself, it has got it has several functions. So number one, it's got a set of wings on the side of it. Both of those wings are independent to the joysticks. I operate those by using either the five or the six button. The five button and the one and two roller switch here lets me operate that wing up to 205 degrees, left to right, independently. The number six joystick button and with the number two roller will let me operate that up to 205 degrees. So independently you can use that. The purpose of those wings is on an 8-foot mold board it's going to give you a 10-foot grading portion. Also if you're moving around manholes or curb stops you can work independently around those 
similar as if you had a side shift on your grader blade. So I'm gonna get ready to start doing a little bit of grading. And with that, I'm gonna have the assist mode on. As you'll see the green is here and there, and I'm gonna grade just a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and memorize and slope for the, cr for the crown. So as I'm grading, as you can see, starting to pick up the material, I can take and move my wing around on the left side. I can move my ring, wing around on the right, giving me a 10 foot grading beam. And now I'm gonna to wanna to go ahead and show you how I will set, I will set, set my cross slope. So I'm going to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and as you'll see here on the screen, I am setting it up to about a two, two degree slope. And now in order to set that, I'm gonna come down here on my right hand joystick with number three. I'm gonna press and hold. And when I release, the lights on the front are gonna flash as indicating that has memorized that. And if I want to do what we call a mirror image, if you'll watch here, I'm gonna double click number three button. And it's gonna take me over to the left side, two degrees. So if you've noticed, this is showing you the position of the blade and the two arrows on the bottom of that is showing you that I have both cylinders in dual mode or tandem mode. So if I want to go back to zero, if I want to go back, I'm going to hit the top button one time. It is going to bring me back to zero with the blade. So once again, left and right is going to be done with the three button. You double click it, it takes you back to the opposite way. So now that I've got it set up in this position, I'm doing two degrees left. It's going to be building my crown up to the road. I'm going to go ahead and start grading. All right. Should be maintaining that now. As you see, I've got that 1.3, 1.6 running. I'm actually building a crown onto the road, bringing it in from the right side of the road. And that crown is like walking up. While we're grading, I'd like to talk a little bit more about the three modes of this grader blade. Number one, you can run a manual without any assist, any technology. Number two, you can run it in assist mode and what I'm doing right now. Number three, you can have external reference. When I talk about external reference, we will talk about 1D system for a laser, 2D systems, Earthworks Go, GNSS, which is 3D, as well as Total Station, Universal Total Station, and also Sonic. So all of this is it works within the machine. Use of external reference equipment, such as GPS and 2D grade control. You're gonna need to go into settings again. Now you're gonna run down to machine settings. With the machine settings, you're gonna come down to the left trigger mode. It is going to give you the option that left number seven is actually your left hand joystick trigger. I'm going to go from two speed and I'm going to go into aux seven. So now if I'm running external references and I want to click it off and on, I'm going to hit that joystick trigger to do that. Another tool that will use that same number seven is going to be your coal planer. You're going to find your coal planer to turn that number seven off and on within that screen. turning back as you can see the green is lit up right there if I was going to stop you'll notice if I go back into uh, assist mode and click it off that goes away and if I move with that I can grade also with that but I am doing the input for that and then I can also push it right back on and so I'm in the grade control position with that also you'll notice on the monitor I'm at 122 degrees or so for that blade Let's go ahead and change it by using the number one switch forward. I can bring that back and I can monitor. I can monitor that position with that. So now I'm going to go ahead and close the box plate or the wings up. And I'm going to bring the number six wing in. Once again, using two and one, I can go ahead and bring it forward. I'm going to go ahead and bring the left side back. So now as I go along here, I'm going to gather and capture that. 
The two parabolic mirrors on the front of this grater blade allows me to re look at the grater blade cutting edges. Those cutting edges have hash marks on them that allow the operator to view that when it's time to actually flip the blade or to change the blade on that portion of it. As we're moving along here, we're, as you can see, we're building a crown of about one and a half degrees. I'm going to now show you the mirror side of this. I'm going to be backing up. So I'm going to feather this material out. I'm going to go ahead and back the grater up. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to double click the number three button. It's going to take me up to a mirror image of the other side. And I'm going to carry this material back up showing a crown as I'm building the crown. So I'm in position right now. As you notice, as I start to cut, trying to keep that two degrees, one and a half, two degrees cut. You'll see in the front as the blade, the angle of the blade, it is starting to carry the material up to the middle of the road. That is what we call the crown. It will have about a two degree water runoff on this road we're building. Also with the next generation machines and with the smart attachment as a greater blade, you can install an optional IMU, which is an inertia measuring device that mounts on the, inside the cab or the, the car body of the, of the compact track loader. What that does, it gives you another reference up here showing the machine positioning. Uh, it will give you main fall and it will give you slope. It's for the machine side only, but the nice thing about it is if you were to remove the attachment and put a bucket or a power box rake or another tool on there, it is showing you machine positioning of the machine that you're working with. That's a great feature to have. Well, I think we pretty much went over the whole gamut of operation for the tool and the machine. Uh, we're going to finish up a little bit with this grading by kind of feathering our way out of it. As we wrap up, I do hope you benefit from some of these operating tips. And for more information about this attachment and other attachments, contact your local cat dealer.